the worst account in rise of kingdoms actually got worse do you guys remember snaps does this profile ring any bells for you guys well a few months ago i made a youtube video talking about what i think is probably the worst account in rise of kingdoms and in that video i showed off snaps account and we went through the equipment the commanders and everything involved and i just couldn't believe how bad it was and so what did he do after he saw that video surely he would start to invest in some good commanders and good equipment right R right well, today we're going to find out because we have an update from Sir Snaps himself, Sir Lou Boo. It might be a spoiler for some of you guys if you couldn't tell by this picture right here. So let's see what sort of progress has been made in the last seven months from King Lou Boo himself. But first, cheers. This video is probably going to go live on Christmas Eve. So if you guys celebrate Christmas, then Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy holidays to everybody else. And hopefully you are all doing well, hopefully better, at least than the status of snaps account. Now, before we jump into what's actually going on inside uh, under the hood, okay, let's just zoom in real quick and see how my man is living. Okay. And as you can see here, based on his actual city layout, there is an abundance of gold here. Okay. He has, I, what it appears to me, he has maxed out the amount of gold streets that you can have here in the city, which is absolutely incredible. And that means he spent a significant amount of gems on purely cosmetic things for his city. Most people are never going to know that snaps has all golden uh, streets in his city okay if it weren't for this video showing it off this is pretty much something that only he would ever see i mean let's be honest how often do you zoom into another player's city to look at how it's how it's laid out probably never if i would be willing to guess because it serves no real function in battle so that's a little bit of foreshadowing so you understand how snaps is spending his gems on this account now if we take a look at the player view here we could see that he's rocking the Egyptian civilization a little over 60 million power with 44 million kill points pretty even breakdown between uh tier four and tier five as far as points go if we go into the more information you could see that he was at 65 million power so it dropped a little bit of power there maybe at the request of the kingdom maybe because he took a rally or something I don't I don't know snaps is always doing some crazy stuff with his accounts we got 3.7 million dead troops as well and so you can see that this account isn't a serious fighting account I as far as I'm concerned this is basically his farm account this is his second account and yet we still see stuff like this where he's dropping tons of gems and just blinging out his his city like an absolute mad lad now snaps was kind enough to send me some video footage of what's going on behind the scenes here for this account and there's a lot of choice chests here i'm not really i'm not sure why these aren't being used or open i don't really understand the uh the strategy behind keeping them sealed away i mean there's a three-day choice chest over here like where do you even get those i don't even remember I, I don't know anyway let's let's take a look here you could see he's actually losing power during this video i think he's like barbing or something i don't, I don't know i have no idea are these like the kingdom supply chests from the marauders that that might actually uh be the case there anyway yeah we got some resource compensation chests over here from like probably over donating sculptures during k BK or something like that I have no idea but uh there's just a lot of random bits and pieces over here we got over a thousand silver keys we got uh 30 passport pages so he's basically ready to migrate whenever whenever he wants to with this with this account um we got a couple of yearbooks over here which is looking good we got a little bit of experience there not too much we got a name plaque what is what the okay we got some name plates some some okay this is a seven day zenith of power skin right here zenith of power skin uh, he must have competed in that with the with a farm account i i don't really understand what's going on there but anyway we have no legendary commander sculptures we've got a bunch of random sculptures here for different commanders we have 18 wuzetian sculptures okay we love to see that not too many sculptures of everything else nothing too exciting here and would you look at this look at the relics boys look just just look at the relics okay my man has every single relic in the game right now he unlocked every single relic and that may sound like it's not a big deal however a lot of these relics are completely useless because they're for commanders that you will absolutely never use like julius caesar or frederick or even el Cid or barca for example and the problem is that when you unlock a relic the next relic that you unlock is going to cost even more and that's pretty clear right in the rules here and so when you unlock all the relics well when season two comes out 
those are going to cost even more and so it unless Lilith changes how this actually works when season two comes around it's actually in everyone's best interest to not to unlock relics that they're not going to use because eventually they're probably going to put in relics that you will want to use and it'll actually just be cheaper for you so there's a little bit of a tip for you guys if you didn't know that don't unlock relics that you never plan on using unfortunately I made a mistake in doing that with Mulan I probably shouldn't have unlocked hers even though it's pretty good I just I'm probably never going to use her so anyway and then we come to the commander page and here is where virtually every crime in rise of kingdoms has been committed of course we know that he had the Lubu and we know it was expertise and we knew that he had the Charlemagne and that it was expertise and he even went and purchased Barca he spent hundreds of dollars of real world dollars on Barca as a meme and yet even still even after getting roasted for these decisions and even after being the biggest troll in the game he went ahead and expertise Moctezuma yes that's right ladies and gentlemen after all of the flaws and after all of the errors that we saw on the account back in May or whenever it was that we looked he took that knowledge he took that feedback and he said you know what the logical next step is to invest in Moctezuma <laughs> it's like he's trying to complete the infinity gauntlet of the five worst commanders in the game and he's he's certainly getting there okay he's got at least four of them right here but probably the bigger crime is that he has CPO Prime and he didn't even summon him now he's probably waiting to save the summon for when he's willing to spend five dollars because then he'll get 10 precious universal sculptures that he could then pump into some other trash but it's just funny to me that he would expertise all of these commanders and yet he's got he's got arguably one of the best commanders in the game just sitting here not he can't even he can't even use him even if he wanted to because he never pressed the summon button he's basically just denying himself the best possible commander it's it's really it's quite incredible this is this is truly something else obviously we see the the Lubu here completely expertise we see the Charlemagne now he does have the Alex YSG here okay uh he also expertise Minamoto went ahead and spent the money there uh so you know that's something and we can see a lot of other commanders that he's put, put some sculptures into the Martel is not even expertise here um so I mean yeah and then here we see what is probably an indication of his next sin okay he is close to a five 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 one uh Wu Zetian which means he's probably trying to expertise Wu Zetian in Rise of Kingdoms this is obviously an error this is obviously not what you should be doing this is absolutely like just no just don't do it the only people that should have Wu Zetian are the absolute giga whales who are going to be using it for like the one kvk that she sort of matters okay that's pretty much it she's virtually useless after that and uh yeah it seems like snaps has taken upon the chat the challenge upon himself to expertise all the trash in the game now I was hoping that after he expertise Moctezuma that he would do somebody like Frederick or maybe even Ragnar because those commanders are just complete dog they're just just trash okay but Wu Zetian might actually be worse than them <laughs> I, I mean just imagine open fielding with Wu Zetian with a Moctezuma behind her or something like that like oh my god so here's here's the Ragnar he's got the 5311 I think he I think he was working on Ragnar for a little bit and then I guess moved on to Wu Zetian I think that's an even more unbelievably garbage commander so uh yeah that seems to be like what what the next play is going to be for our boy snaps uh okay so we're here in the achievements page and as you can see under child of fate he's working on the meta breaker uh achievement I guess and so here we've got uh he needs Ashida's expertise so he's working on that and there it is the Wu Zetian expertise so yes it looks like those three he's looking to to finish off obviously two of these are easy to do Wu Zetian is the only one that would be difficult for him so I'm assuming that uh he is just attempting to get this meta breaker achievement as an absolute the king of all trolls I guess I don't know now let's take a look at the equipment now last time when we saw snaps he actually crafted the legendary shield and as you know the legendary shield 
isn't a horrible weapon it's just that unless you get the special talent on it it performs very similarly to the blue shield when you're in season of conquest with crystal technology for for most commanders that is in fact the case and so this is arguably uh you know a very late game super kraken super well like you're absolutely going to get the talent on it that's who should be crafting the shield not somebody who's going to craft it once leave it there and also have other pieces that look like this i mean this would be like arguably the last thing you would craft in a perfect infantry set and even then you might as well go for the hammer of sun and moon because it's the same stat you just get more of it and yes it costs more materials but for just i mean it's such a micro optimization that you might as well go for it but here uh you know it looks like he took that craft from the last time and put an iconic crystal into that shield just really committed to that super expensive paperweight I, I i oh my god okay again to be fair the shield has its uses it's not necessarily a paperweight but when you look at the other equipment here this is like absolute trash okay absolute trash and as we know he did actually purchase the trial of the lost kingdom that's right he actually spent the 100 dollars on this piece to put on a moctezuma like oh just such a, it's just so bad it's just un, it's unbelievable i i can't i can't like and the worst part is that if any of these actually did get a crit he would put it on leadership he would it would make it a leadership talent i already know he would because he has an archer helmet here that he instead put the leadership craft on now if we go through the rest of his equipment is all pretty much gathering equipment and that's pretty much how you know that this is a uh it's a farm account but also he has two peter sickle right which again i guess that's good for a for a farm account but um definitely not the definitely not the accessories that i would pick from the accessory choice chest which is what i assume he got this from very interesting very interesting uh stuff there but yeah we scroll through here and uh the rest of this is all pretty self-explanatory we see the <laughs> leadership talent on this guy right here very very interesting stuff here he shows off some of the gathering commanders he has and it's also worth noting that he actually expertised cleopatra for the other two which i assume involved some number of opening up those commander you know gathering choice chests uh and everyone knows that sunduk is the one you should pick first okay that's the, she of the three here she's the best in my opinion okay because she gives you her expertise is very good for gathering cleopatra's is just like okay it's fine and uh as he's showing off his different gatherers here we do see that uh he actually had enough sculptures to put another skill into Ashida, which is going to go into his first skill so interesting choice there the, the whole account is just so bizarre man it's just such a bizarre account and here we have uh three blueprint choice chests for the chest and it looks like he's gonna get the milky way he just got more milky way blueprints i don't know is he trying to talent the milky way i don't really also if we take a look at his album here you could see that uh a lot of a lot of rule breaking has been going on on the account here it looks like a lot of his uh content on the account was reported and deleted okay so definitely uh, has a history of some questionable things perhaps in the album or even maybe even the profile picture okay uh, and here we can see the, uh, that's RN Jesus right there, giving you the finger. So we love to see that there he is King Lubu himself. And I guess no matter what we tell snaps about the status of his account, it's not really going to matter based on uh based on this image and of course those of you who were very keen at the beginning of this video would have seen the uh moctezuma expertise uh achievement right here but it's sitting right aside queen cleopatra's expertise charlemagne barca uh does Lu Bu not have an achievement for expertise is that that must that must be the case otherwise he probably would show it off although that is shocking to me I think the Lu Bu achievement would be much more interesting than than the Cleopatra expertise but that's just me and of course the commander view how could we forget the commander view the knight head himself Moctezuma absolute giga Chad okay here we see basically his infinity gauntlet of the worst commanders that he has plus Minamoto and Matilda which are actually decent at what they do I guess but uh yeah charge Captain Barca haven't seen that one in a while that's that's interesting let's look at the talents here that's um I mean okay I I guess so I mean 
I don't I don't think that's the best build but what do I know let's look at the talents on the okay I mean hey I, wait a minute hang on he what he got he made it all the way he made it all the way here and was like no I actually don't want the healing factor and then he instead grabbed the healing factor here like wait hey like what bruh like what's this one point half health what is it? what what the he got naked rage for mocked it okay I mean I can't I get wait wait a minute okay wait he got mighty force but then just didn't get trophy hunter he was like yeah i don't want more free value when i kill barbarians with my moctezuma <laughs> like what is the i it's almost like you put it's like it's a random generator like like it's it was like intentionally done poorly like what you got half an ad, what the snaps what are you doing man what are you doing if you put points in this then you actually get some value out of that i don't okay let's look at charlemagne uh okay this is the same build that he used last time full skill tree latent power for some reason i don't that's not you you can't use the charlotte okay i mean fresh recruits is a good a good pickup and then we got troop load we got troop load for when he's plundering cities with charlemagne didn't even grab buckler shield arguably like the best and only good talent in the conquering tree okay well surely the lubu tree is going to be bet okay I mean, look, I would argue you would want Buckler Shield again with the latent power, bro. We we talked about this last time. Not you don't need that. And like, you know, probably you would want armored to the teeth if you're going to use a mixed army. Probably don't need the healing effects on Lu on Lubu, right? But hey, he's the king of Lubu, not me. So what do I know? You know, OK, at least Cleopatra has the talents she needs at least he went and grabbed the gathering talents for the gatherer you know i was half expecting to open this and see a full integration tree so that is at least good to know okay but what about minamoto okay again what is what is this one percent health and he just really doesn't like the healing factor the thing about this is it keeps you alive longer in the open field so if you're chaining barbs or you're, you don't want to go back to your city this healing factor helps but instead he he just beelined it to the to the march speed that he never got <laughs> and also just didn't grab heraldic shield he was like i don't want to reduce the skill damage i take thank you very much i much prefer taking full skill damage <laughs> anyway guys that is an update on what is arguably the worst account in rise of kingdoms it somehow got even worse than that so surprise surprise i don't think anyone really uh is that surprised to be honest with you this may be the last update of snaps account because it does seem like he is interested in retiring and quitting rise of kingdoms so quick round of applause for creating such an impressively bad account let snaps know in the comment section below how much you appreciate his dedication to building such a god-awful account while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it helps push this video into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it it's fast and free helps out the channel a ton also subscribe to the channel while you're down there and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace